Self-knowledge is the understanding of one's own nature, abilities, and limitations. Self-knowledge provides an insight into ourselves. Self-knowledge and the consequences of the lack of it are evident in the play Oedipus the King by Sophocles. One part of the play showed the lack of self-knowledge in Oedipus through the wisdom of truth by Tiresias. Tiresias is a blind prophet who portrays knowledge regarding Oedipus. Even though at first he did not want to, Tiresias is prom prompted to tell Oedipus the truth about himself. He declares that Oedipus is the clay murder of Laius. Oedipus shows ignorance and the lack of self-knowledge because of his denial of what Tiresias had told him and instead he blames his brother-in-law Creon. Throughout the play, even with all the clues and signs, Oedipus believes that the prophecy is wrong because his father died a natural death not knowing that King Laius was his real father and King Polybus was his father through adoption. In the end, Oedipus' lack of self-knowledge and his discovery of the truth about himself brings tragedy not only to himself but to his family. His wife, Jocasta, who he finds out was also his mother, kills herself. His brother-in-law, Creon, must banish Oedipus out of the kingdom to appease the god Apollo and deal with the death of his sister, sister Jocasta. Oedipus, too, daughters have lived to live the rest of their lives in shame and in the end Oedipus gouges out his eyes. Throughout the play Oedipus had to seek out his self-knowledge and once he found the truth he had to face the consequences. If Oedipus had known the truth about himself at the beginning of the play a lot of tragedies could have been avoided. I too need to ask myself how much do I really know about myself? Through my studies and the courses that I have taken at St. Vincent, I will be finding out knowledge about myself. I will find what studies I like or what I'm good at. I will discover my strengths and weaknesses, and by the time I graduate, I will apply my strengths to both my career and my personal life. For example, when I applied to St. Vincent, I did not know what area of study I wanted to major in and came in as an undeclared major. During my short time here, I decided what I would like to pursue, and that is the career in marketing. I am receiving a lot of help from my advisors and teachers in my decision-making process. My by being honest with myself and by the courses that I am taking, I will either prepare myself for this career or perhaps it will make me realize that I need to focus my attention on pursuing a different career.